Good. So our first question is from Muhammad, and he says, do spouses have the right to check their spouse's phones? Can a husband demand his wife to give all her passwords uh, uh, to him? Well, actually, marriages are based on trust. And if you're unable to trust your spouse, then love and subsequently marriage goes out of the window. Trust is what we base our relationships with one another, let alone between spouses. If I can't trust my neighbor, if I can't trust my partner, if I can't trust my colleague, then I'll be living in doubt and speculations and whispers would eat me up inside out. Between the spouses, this has to be based on trust, meaning such a relationship. And it's not one of the husband's rights to demand the password, whether of the phone, the chat, uh, um, apps, or of the emails, or of the computer or the laptop or the history of your browser, etc. This is something between an individual and Allah Azza wa Jal. So it is not permissible for a man to demand this. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prohibited doubt, doubting others. As mentioned in the Quran, avoid a lot of suspicion because little of it is sinful. Because of this little, a lot of these suspicions that I'm getting must be avoided because the vast majority of them are baseless. And the Prophet ﷺ prohibited spying, prohibited eavesdropping, prohibited trying to find the faults of people. And he said, whoever follows the faults of people trying to detect them, Allah will follow his own flaws and faults, and Allah would expose him, even if he is in the midst of his own home. Therefore, it is not permissible for a man or for a woman to demand the password of their spouses. And I am shocked and amazed by some of the women who surrender their rights to their husbands in a fashion that is more likely of a slave surrendering his or her right to their master. Some women are so submissive, they are more of a doormat rather than a spouse. She doesn't speak, she doesn't breathe, she doesn't make any move without the consent of her husband. And the husband plays the role of Simon Says. And he controls everything she does. And this is not a marriage. This is slavery. This is not something that should be praised or accepted. Because such a relationship is sick and it would inevitably deal to or lead to divorce and all the bad things that it may entail. So definitely one should try to rectify such an affair and reach a level of respect and communication in addition to mutual trust.